Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Joy of Painting with me, Mr. Martin. You've joined me today and we are going to make an absolutely fantastic bit of art right here on our paper. So today I managed to finally get a set of poster paints and that's what I'm going to be using today in this piece of artwork and I've got a range of colours spanning the entire rainbow. I think what I'd like to do today is create a nice little sunset scene using the blending of the sky uh, and the sun being a big part in the middle. I think that'd be a really nice little piece of art we could make today, so let's give it a go. So I think I'm going to start with this burnt sienna to begin with and I'm just going to have a layer over sort of the middle and the top of this piece of paper just to get a nice background going and we can always add to that as we go on. Just get that on there and as we always do using our cross brush technique just to get a nice even layer of paint across there. And as I said before we want to try and get uh, sort of the center like all the way up to the top there and we can always add on top of this later and as I often do I'm not going to go right up to the edges of this paper I'm just going to leave those uh, slightly faded to the edge just as a stylistic choice if you want to make sure that it's all completely up to the edge that's a, entirely up to you and that's absolutely fine as well as I say it's just a stylistic choice we are done with our burnt sienna for now so I'm going to put that one back I'm going to give my brush a bit of a wash as I say, it's always important to do the background before the foreground. Now I want to do some shading on this background and before I put in our ground down here, I think it's important that we do all of the shading on the sky as that really is the furthest back we can go. So I'm going to use some orange now to do some blending a little bit higher up here. Uh, we're going to leave this darkness down here as much as we can and we're going to get lighter and lighter and lighter as we go up. I'm not going to use as much on this, so I'm just going to dab my corner in there and then I'm just going to get some on there and see how that mixes in nicely with that. We want to leave the bottom bit untouched and just start to go up, just sort of from the middle there, doing our X's as we go up there like that and just try to get a nice little blend in. You might want to also just blend the bottom just a tiny bit as well, just to make that nice and blended in there. But just know that with this really bottom bit here, the bit where it's sort of starting to fade away, we're going to be using our, um, our ground to go over that anyway, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Okay, so we've got some of that fiery orange in there which is perfect for our sunset, the warmth of the sun covering our sky. Okay, and I think that looks very nice. So we are done with our orange. Now we're going to use some yellow ochre on this and we're going to, again, do some higher up shading up here, fading that in uh, to make sure that it's all nice and blended. Now this is obviously a slightly different colour, even more so than the orange to the burnt sienna. So it's going to take a little bit more to uh, sort of blend those in. But as you can see, it's already starting to blend in quite nicely there. And we might even need a little bit more of this just to, uh, to overpower those darker colours. As I've said in the previous lesson, the darkness in terms of paint always overcomes the light. Uh, and we sometimes need to use a little bit more light to get over those dark colours. So let's add a little bit more of that on there. And look at that, we have a beautiful little blend going up there, creating a wonderful sunset sky. And you know what, I think I'm even going to go one more. In this little pack I've got, I've also just got a plain yellow, which is a little bit lighter. And I think I'm just going to top off that top there with some plain yellow. Oh, now this is a very vibrant colour, so I'm going to be a bit careful with this. As I say, this is the first time I've used these colours, so you've got to be careful when you're using colours for the first time because you're never quite sure what the result's going to be until you put that paintbrush on the paper. I think that is a nice little addition 
just to blend that off even more at the top there. Gives it a nice little brightness that the rest of the color doesn't quite have. We are done with those colors for now. However, we are going to need to include one of the most important parts of this, and that's the sun. So let's get going with that now. You know, for this, I want to include a different sort of color for the sun. So I'm gonna do a little bit of mixing. I'm gonna get our burnt sienna that we had in the beginning. And I'm also going to add in a little bit of red. Now this is vermilion red, but any old red will do. As well as this, if you've got sort of a dark orange or a slightly brownish color, that will be absolutely fine as well. So let's do some mixing of those. I'm gonna give these a bit of a mix. In fact, I'm gonna to swap to a smaller brush here. I'm gonna use a, a fairly small brush because I wanna be quite fine when I'm doing this. Mixing these together. Oh, it's going to make an interesting color. Now we're not necessarily going for realism here. I think I'm going for sort of uh, a few stylistic choices so that we can get some interesting colors and, uh, and make this a very unique sort of piece of art, a unique sort of painting. So now that I've got my red here, I'm going to make our burning sun as it's going down. Now, because it's going down, we don't need to do an actual circle. But even if we did, it wouldn't matter because we've got our ground coming on afterwards uh, and we can then easily cover that up. But of course, as this is quite a strong color, we want to try and avoid doing that as much as possible. So we're going to have our shape of the sun coming up and I'm going to do quite a large shape for my sun because this is quite a, uh, it's, it's the main piece, the main, it's the subject of our painting uh, and we want it to stand out as much as it can. So we're gonna use quite a bit of paint on there just to, to fill in this space and to make sure it's nice and defined, standing out there, the subject of our painting. And we're gonna just cross it off there at the bottom and fill in that space. Again, use as much as you need to make that fully filled in there. Now what I'd like to do, and this could be a fairly risky move, I'm gonna try and blend that, the edge of this sun into the background a little bit, um, just so that it fits in with the scene a little bit more. Now this could be a risky move, as I say, uh, but I'm gonna go for it because with art, you've got to be a bit of a risk taker. And as I've said in the past, I'm no pro, but I will give it a go. So we're gonna just see if we can blend this in. Because did you know, this is a fun little science fact actually, the sun is not perfectly spherical. Uh, the sun actually has lots of little bumps all around the edge of it. Uh, it has lots of uh, solar flares coming off the sides and shooting out. Um, so actually having a perfectly a smooth side to our sun isn't very realistic. And this helps us to sort of blend in a little bit as well. And I think, you know what? I think I've taken a risk and it's paid off because I'm liking the look of this. I think that's nice. That blends in nicely and it adds a little bit of sort of detail to our edges of our sun there. Okay, yeah, I like that. So next up, we're going for our ground. We want to try and match it up with the bottom of the sun. We can even overlap that sun a little bit uh, because it's further into our foreground, so that would be absolutely fine. I want to keep with a similar color system. I am going to add a little bit of green in here, but I'm also going to mix it with that burnt sienna and see what we come up with. So I'm gonna go with a blue green. This is close to a forest green, um, but if any old green as well will do. As I always say, it doesn't matter if you have the exact same things as me. It just matters if you have a go and see what it's like. So as you can see, I've got like a, a dark, almost darker than forest green here. Um, it's sort of a moss green really. Um, and I'm hoping this will look pretty good. So. We want to get that on here like this 
uh, and we want to go down to the bottom with it as well and then we want to bring it up and we want to do a smooth line right up to our sun there just covering the sun and we can also start to blend this in if we just keep going over it without adding any more paint just keep going over it and it starts to blend in with those reds and oranges and starts to become a bit more brown and you know what I said about taking risks I'm gonna take another one we've got our colors here we've got our color of the Sun and our color of the grass you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna mix them together and then I'm gonna do a little bit more blending here and a little bit of a line down the middle maybe to see if we can create a nice sort of light effect on there could work it might not work but we're gonna give it a go so let's see what that's like we're gonna take our red there I'm gonna add it with our green and now that we've got that on our brush now we've got that color we want to sort of wipe away quite a bit of it we don't want a lot of that on our brush at all because we just want to use this to blend not to put new colors over so wipe that anywhere that you can to get that off your brush so we've got a very thin layer of that on our brush and then we're going to see if this works let's give it a go shall we and i'm just going over very lightly here and I'm just going to cover where the sun comes to. I'm not going to go any further. And I'm going to sort of come down the middle here with it and get a little bit thinner as I come down. And I'm just doing my X's as I go left to right. And again, just coming up to where the sun meets on the edges here. And you can bring it up right up to the sun. I'm just getting smaller as we get down here. I think that looks very nice. Look at that, a nice little bit of shading going on there, a bit of blending of our paints to a beautiful sunset scene. And I think we're gonna end it there today. A nice, simple scene with a nice blending of colors and a little unsaturated sort of darker scene than we would usually do but just as good and just as nice and just a nice piece of art in total i want to give a really big thank you to all of those who watch these videos i couldn't do this without your continued support and i really really appreciate you watching and all of the really kind words that i often receive about these videos i truly appreciate it more than you could ever know so i hope you enjoyed today's video and i can't wait to see what you've come up with at home thanks for watching i'll see you next time